Hey guys, this is Zach with Next Tech News, and today we're going to do a follow-up video to a video I did a while ago. You guys might remember a video um, that I did a while back on how I was going to make a Mac Pro clone. Um, basically, I wanted to 3D print a Mac Pro case and do everything from scratch, you know, ITX board in there and all that. I wanted to see how many components I could fit into a Mac Pro clone. Um, but basically, I created a design, I came up with everything, um, but it just ended up being too expensive to 3D print it all. I went to a bunch of different shops and just couldn't get a price that I could honestly afford at that time. Um, so, ended up kind of scratching the project. That's why you only really saw one video, and I never did another one. But, this is going to be the follow-up video to that. I ended up finding a case the other day while I was looking around on Amazon, and this case is the iMagic Pi. It's a mini ITX case and it's designed to look exactly like a MacBook Pro. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a whole computer in this and see how many components I can get in there and also how powerful I can make it so that I can try to max the performance of a Mac Pro. Um, so I'm gonna put an i7-6700K in there. I have a really nice um, Maximus um, 8 impact motherboard which is basically the cousin to the gene that I have over here. Um, I have a 600 watt um, SFX power supply. I have some very thin fans because I need to get, I need to be efficient with the space management in this case because there's not a lot of room. So I need thinner fans that what, than what comes with it. Um, I have a water cooler because I'm going to try to fit a water cooler in this case as well, which I'm going to have to really try to figure this stuff out because I really don't know if it's all going to work. Um, and then I have the smallest graphics card I could possibly find because the main thing I want to try to do is get a graphics card into this PC because there's a lot of people that have made Mac Pro clones, but I haven't seen one with a GPU in it. And honestly, what's a, you know, you can't have a Mac Pro clone where it's not even as close to being as powerful as the Mac Pro. And the Mac Pro has GPUs. So I'm gonna try to be close. Okay, so let's unbox this. And like I said before, this is the Impact, which is basically the mini ITX version of the motherboard I have in my other computer, which is the Gene, um, which is in the whole series of Maximus line. Um, so here is that. Let's see what else we got in the box. Lots and lots of cables. Oh, that's nice. They give you a whole card for more fan headers and everything. So we might end up using that, but we'll see. I only really need two fans, so. There's the IO shield. Uh, Wi-Fi antenna, and the SATA cables and everything that I need. So we'll leave that in the box for now. Okay, and let's get started on this. So I'm gonna use the blue RAM from my other rig right now just because I don't have other RAM at the moment. And I'm more of just trying to prove a concept here. So it doesn't matter, that it won't match. Plus it's not like you're gonna see the inside of this at all anyways. Okay, so we're gonna slide this off to the side because I'll probably need something for the back plate and everything for this and I'll go ahead and install that for the water cooler. 
which I'm gonna cross my fingers I can fit in this. And the reason I went with the H55 over the H60, um, which a lot of people uh, I usually go with over this one, um, I decided to go with this one primarily because these tubes are more flexible than the one in the H60, and I'm going to need some flexibility to get this in here. So let's put this off to the side for right this second. Okay, well what I just found out, which everyone do more research than I did clearly for trying to figure this out, um, you know, picking a water cooler, I chose this one for a bad reason, uh, because I don't think this one actually works with LG1151, or LGA1151. Um, doesn't look like it does, at least. Not according to the manual, and it doesn't look like this thing's gonna work. Um, so I'm gonna try to jerry-rig it in there. If not, I might have to just go ahead and order an H60 or something like that. So let's see if I can get this thing to work. Okay, so if you can see here, I got it all installed now. You do have access to this screw and this screw just fine. This one you do have access to as well, but this one is about pretty hard to get to. Um, every motherboard's gonna be, well actually everyone's gonna be exactly the same. Um, so obviously they didn't think that through, but again, it's not like you're expecting a ton from this manufacturer. It's all just plastic with a little bit of metal brackets in between. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can fit a GPU in here now. Because that's kind of the biggest point. Honestly, it's not a ton of room. This is the GPU. And I'm probably going to have to remove that bracket, but we'll see. Okay, so this is the GPU. This is the Zotac 1050 uh, Ti. Um, basically, this is literally the smallest graphics card I could possibly find. Most likely, I'm going to guess we're going to have to remove this plastic shroud which honestly doesn't really do anything um, and the nice thing it is one bracket just like it is on the back here obviously this one's way smaller though so we might only have access to like the display port and maybe HDM no no probably the DVI one as well we'll see so let's see if we can fit this in here no there's no way I'm getting it in without that bracket gone all right, let's get rid of that first. And honestly, that's probably gonna have to stay out, so hopefully it's not too structural to the supports. <laughs> okay, it's got one more screw over here. Nope, I'm gonna have to remove that shroud. So let's move this to the side. And this shroud looks like it comes off with just a couple little screws here on the side. And these are some stubborn screws. Well, I didn't think this thing was going to be as hard as it is to get off. Okay, so apparently all it was is I didn't have enough leverage using that little screwdriver, so. So just make sure if you're doing the same thing, that you have enough leverage, because it comes off very easy with a bigger screwdriver. That's all it takes to get that little thing off. And honestly, that shouldn't affect anything for cooling or anything like that. Does it doesn't affect the heat shield, so. Okay, let's see if it'll fit in there now. There we go. Just have to break that little piece off. Oh man, that's going to be close. I don't know that it's going to close. I think that's going to stop it. That whole corner of the... Oh, 
let's see. Okay, I can probably get that around the GPU, but I'm definitely gonna have to take off the shield there for the back ports. So let's take this out. Looks like the only thing that holds that shield on is one normal screw. And then I think just that, just the DVI screws. So let me get something to get those off. Okay. That is literally bringing this card down to its bare minimum. Okay, let's grab the case again. We're gonna need to watch out for these, somehow get these wires out of the way of that fan. Although, honestly, that's the... I know how to get it out of the way. I'm just gonna take it out because I'm totally not gonna use that fan speed controller. So let's get that out of there. So you can see there are two screws here, right here and here, and that's all that's holding in this fan speed controller. And honestly, I don't know, I can't imagine it being very good anyways. Looked like it was actually, I said three speed earlier, but it looks like it's actually only two speed and one off setting. And in this case, I would never advise setting it to off because you're gonna need all the airflow you can get in a small case like this. So no need for that. Okay, let's put graphics card back in. And it doesn't look like I'm gonna fit anything else in there. Man, that is only giving you access to the DVI port. I guess that's the way I'm gonna have to hook up to it. Not exactly what I'd prefer to use, but maybe I can somehow jury, maybe cut this little part out so that you can use the display port. So definitely don't want to have to use DVI. Well, so far, looks like we might have fit a GPU in here. And if I can fit the water cooler down here, it won't bother me so much that I can't fit a fan up here because I don't really need that much pass-through fan. I, air I just need air to go through that cooler so let's see how that works Okay, so it doesn't look like it's still gonna close. The GPU sticks out just a smidge too far. Um, 